Hello everyone, I'm Keno from Liquipedia and I'm here to show you how to edit Valorant matches using the Valorant database on the wiki. Uh, this way you can easily get the results and all of the statistics for players uh, related to this match uh, when updating the results. Uh, so first things first, check in the top right to make sure you're logged in or if you haven't created an account yet, do that first. You can't edit the wiki really without logging in nor access the Valorant database. Um, so, first up, to start editing a match, you'll have to head into the code of the match. So in this case, uh, these are group tables, sometimes there's brackets as you can see here as well. Um, but simply press the edit button above the section that you want to edit. So we're heading into this group that's halfway filled in currently. Um, and you will be presented with the code uh, that makes the group table and the match list that is down here. So this indicates the match list. Uh, it has an ID that you don't really have to worry about, and then there's the matches. So as you can see here, it's match one, and it has the basic info like how late does it start, uh, in the time zone, which cast is worth casting, what's the twitch links, this is all fairly standard. And then there's the opponent one and opponent two, so opponent one is NRG, opponent two is FURIA. Uh, then there's a map veto, this is not pullable through the API, this is something people fill in manually based on the veto as it happens. And then here is the stats for the map. So map one, uh, it lists the players, uh, which agents they played and their KDA alongside their ACS score. And then there's a space and then there's T2, which is for team two player one. So these are the players for Furia because they're opponent two. Um, and it does the same. And then here's the map stats specifically where it states that team one, uh, they started on defense uh, and how many rounds they won on each thing, which map was played, how long it took, which patch, and the vault to the match in itself. The vault is not pullable for the API, but all of these other things are. And then the same happens for map 2 and map 3 was filled in as split, uh, but since the match didn't have to be played since they won the best of two, it's filled in as a skip. So same thing happens for the following match, and then there's these empty matches, where we could theoretically fill in something, here you can easily, sometimes people fill on the map beforehand like this and leave it empty uh, just because the video has happened and people want to know what match is, uh, what's going to happen. So now we're heading to the Valorant database, which you can access by clicking tools in the top right and going down and then there's Valorant database. In the Valorant database, you'll have this screen. It's This last one is only for uh, higher ranked editors uh, to set the names of players easier. Um, but the other two are the ones you can should be able to access. So the first one is the enter player right ID. Uh, this is the best way to go about it. If you know the ID of a player, uh, which is, for example, Kvidia hashtag, this is my own one. This is not a pro player. And then you can select a region. Uh, that this account will be on. So there's Asia Pacific, Europe, Brazil, Korea, Latin America, and North America. Um, and aside from that, there's also the eSports server, which is uh, used for official eSports matches, such as the VCT. So this account, for example, is mine, and it's on Europe. We will get matches, and we will get a list of all of these matches. Uh, the start time will always be displayed in your own local time zone, regardless of where the player is located. Uh, so you always know how late it was in your time. Uh, for example, for me, that's the Central European time. Um, then these are the match IDs. Now you could copy paste this and put it in here, select the region again, uh, and get to the match that way. But you can also just right click it or middle mouse button, use it and open it in another tab. But you open it and you get to the match that happened. So in this case, uh, now you're presented with the match uh, with all the info. So the match ID is here once again. We can see the map was loaded, how long the map took, uh, how the which players played, which side they were on, like yada yada yada. So now we have this match. Um, you can then start inserting it on in places uh, by using the match ID copying it. Um, what you can also do to find an actual player, um, let's take for example one of the players that play in this tournament, Artsin. We can just type Artsin and it will give us uh, all the accounts under Artsin that were previously entered. 
for example in this one mirror arts and esports is the one we're likely looking for because we know the vct plays on the official esports server uh, you don't have to select this region if the pre-selected thing already includes uh, the region in brackets and then we press again get matches and we can see as happened uh, well my very early morning or yesterday uh, the matches that were played uh, these and then we can access them now uh, we're just gonna use this match and use it to fill in this map um, even though it's obviously not the match that was actually played but just to show off the tool so once we're in this match uh, you can select this map select all of it just to make sure that once we're in here we're going to replace all of the code uh, with the tool if you don't select it it will keep the code uh, and in this way it replaces it basically so what you do is you press this little icon here the valid match details not the red one that's something that's not done yet um, and then you get this pop-up uh, you copy paste the match ID from before, so this one for example, copy, paste it into here, make sure you select the region, uh, and then you select which map, so, so this is map 1, if you fill in the match below it, you put in map 2, and that uh, makes sure to insert the, and then you can just press insert and boop, there it is, the code for the match. But there's two other things to be wary of, uh, first off, is which who is team one and who's team two so if you look here this is team one and this is team two uh, so in this case again this is team one this is team two sometimes they are flipped because they need to match team opponent one and opponent two so if they are uh in the wrong order so let's say jakey would be here like all of these players will be on the top bar and the other ones will be in team two which you can then do you do the same thing uh, and then go to esports map. Oh, in this case, it's about two. And then you press reverse, uh, which will flip the two teams around. So you don't have to do that manually. Some other good thing to know: uh, the player names you see here, they have to match the names you see uh, in the actual page. So, uh, for example. Uh, FRZ should be FRZ, same way it's capitalized. If you enter relatively new players or matches that aren't fully official and people use random names, uh, sometimes there's like clan tags people have in front of their names or they have it spelled slightly differently. Sometimes there's players that share an ID, like let's take for example, Potter, there's the American player and the Thai player, then you will need to enter Potter uh, American player, for example. But sometimes people have already set the names uh, via the tool I've linked here, but that's not really your worry. It's more so the worry, just make sure these names match the ones that you can find here. And that should basically be it. This way you can start adding matches. Uh, if you wanna make sure the things you filled in are correct, I recommend pressing show preview that way your edit isn't live light and you can just view it in your own little section. And you can see here the two matches we've entered. Um, and that's all there is to it. Uh, if the match is fully done, like all maps are played or the best of series is one, you can just set this as finish is true and then hit save changes uh, to fully uh, save your change. And then someone might need to accept it if you're not the editor yet. Uh, in case you're curious to see what you actually changed you can press show changes as well. And that's it. Uh, hope you have fun with discovering the tool and adding matches. Bye bye.